Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with y'all five makeup essentials that I personally start reaching for around this time of the year. These are things that I just cannot live without around like spring and summertime. I think of products a lot like clothing. You definitely start to kind of work in different things depending on how your skin adjusts to the season that you're in. And so these are just some of my favorite things. I'm going to be going through five different categories categories and then within each category I'm just going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite brands and specific products and shades from each category that way if there's something that you've never tried maybe this could be helpful for that I personally love trying out products so this is a very fun video for me because I feel like it made me really think about what do I actually grab and use on the regular and what's something that I think that you guys might want to try out as well. We're going to dive on and I've got my bucket of makeup here. I've got a ton of stuff to go through. In this bucket, you guys are going to see some things that I've shared before, some things that might be new that I've never shared, but for the most part, all of this stuff is stuff that I've tried and used and loved. So I hope this video is helpful. Everything that I mentioned will be linked down below in the description box if you're interested in anything. And like I said, I will show you guys shades and kind of up close swatches as we go. I'm in my sunroom today and the clouds are moving very, very quickly. So this white balance might change from like super warm to super cool, but I'm gonna try to do my best to give you guys a really good look at what I'm talking about. So our first category is the most important of all of the categories and honestly I did not start using sunscreen until like a couple of years ago. I feel like that was the first time that I took using sunscreen extremely seriously and I have seen a huge difference in my skin from just using sunscreen and using protection. Doesn't matter if it's winter, doesn't matter if it's summer, but especially as the days get longer and the sun is out more and you're outside more, sunscreen is just an absolute must and I know this isn't makeup but honestly this is one of the top five doesn't matter what time of the year doesn't matter if it's makeup or skincare sunscreen is a must-have on your vanity and I've got three that I kind of use at different times of the year on rotation and these are all from super goop I kind of am just obsessed with super goop there's other sunscreen brands that I've tried but I just kind of go back to this one over and over again so I've got three right here that are all extremely different and I'll show you guys each one what it looks like. The first one is the Smooth and Poreless 100% Mineral Matte Sunscreen. This is an SPF 40 and this one is a tinted sunscreen. So it's almost like a skin tint, but it doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it does add a little bit of color to your skin. So this one is a matte sunscreen. You guys can see right here that it is completely matte and it has a little bit of color to it, but it's not like changing the tint of my skin. This one is definitely like a primer. It really like smooths out the pores. The only thing about this one I will say is that if you plan on kind of layering makeup over it or anything else, you might get little flecks of the like mineral product. So this one, I wouldn't really recommend wearing underneath a foundation, but if you don't wear foundation and you just want something that has like the slightest bit of tint, this is really nice. So if my skin is doing incredible and I don't need any sort of skin tint or foundation, I'll just throw this on and it's just a really quick and easy way to just kind of mattify, but then also kind of blur and just get everything situated. It's definitely for people who don't wear makeup. The next one is called the glow screen this one is the complete opposite this one will give you a really really nice glow this one can be worn by itself or underneath a foundation I really really love this one actually in the winter because I feel like in the winter I want my skin to look more alive and like I have a glow from within and this one is actually very very helpful for that and I'll wear it underneath foundation but this one as you can see is much more liquidy this one is not a mattifying sunscreen. It has a really nice kind of pearlescent shimmer to it. And you can definitely wear it like by itself with no foundation over it. And you will just look 
so glowy and dewy. However, I will say that if you do plan on wearing it without a foundation over it, it could be a little bit strong of a glow, if that makes sense. So typically with this one, I like to pair this one under a foundation and it just adds the nicest shimmer to whatever foundation I'm wearing. And I really like the look of that. This one is the Unseen Sunscreen. This is like the OG, the original. This is a clear cast sunscreen. And this one is slightly mattifying, but nowhere near as much as the Mineral Matte Sunscreen. You can see it's a clear cast. It almost works as a primer as well in the sense that it kind of blurs pores. This one has a really, really silky, silky smooth finish to it. I really, really like this sunscreen. This is definitely like my number one suggestion if you're looking for a good clear cast sunscreen, but you don't want all the extras. You know, you just want a good sunscreen. You can hear our wind chimes right now. This one is definitely kind of my go-to. Last up, actually, I totally forgot about this. This is a set and protect SPF 30 powder. This is not what I would suggest using alone by itself, but if you want to reset your makeup or you want to reapply sunscreen without messing up what you've done in the morning. This is great because it works as a setting powder, but it has SPF in it. So it's a really good way to kind of reset your makeup and then also reapply your sunscreen without smearing a new layer of sunscreen onto your makeup. So this is like an honorable mention. I would not use this by itself. I would definitely do like a full on sunscreen in the beginning in the morning and then use this as like a touch up. Next up is skin tints and so many brands have released skin tints over the last year year and a half, I feel like skin tints have just popped off and I am all for it because I just love that brands are releasing stuff that is a little bit more natural and caters to people who aren't super heavy makeup obsessed. I love kind of both. In the winter, I love going full face glam, super heavy makeup. And then in the summer, I really like to scale back. And so that's why I wanted to do this video is because I personally change out a lot of my makeup products around spring and summer. And I really do move more towards skin tints than a full coverage foundation. If I'm filming something, then I'll wear something more full coverage and concealing, but on the regular, I will always kind of gravitate towards a skin tint. I'm actually wearing the skin tint right now. This is the new Bare Look skin tint from YSL Beauty. Of the three skin tints that I'm gonna share, this one is by far my favorite because I think this one works personally the best for my skin. I love this one because it's right between a skin tint and an actual lightweight foundation or a light coverage foundation. It is, first of all, it just smells so good. Every time I apply this, I'm like, this is what luxury smells like. But second of all, it really is so natural looking, but it actually covers stuff. I feel like my biggest annoyance with skin tints are that most of the time, it's like putting nothing on your face. You're like, what was the point of that? Or it vanishes. And if you have perfect skin and you just want like the slightest bit of like evening out, then those work for you. But for me personally, I break out a lot and I have dark spots, I have acne scarring. And so I actually do need to even out my skin tone. And this one is just fantastic. This is what I have on right now. And as you blend it into the skin, it melts into the skin so nicely. It definitely does not sit on top of the skin. And I just love the finish on this. It's not mattifying, but it also isn't oily at all. It is super, super hydrating, a really good amount of coverage. Like you can see my hand just looks like dewy, but it's not oily. So I really, really love this specific skin tint. And this is definitely my favorite of the three. I've, like I said, I've got it on right now with like a tiny bit of concealer on some of my acne spots. This, if you are willing to splurge, I would highly suggest trying this out. It will not let you down. It is truly, it's that good. So first one is the YSL New Bare Look Skin Tint. Second up, is something completely different. This is the Ilia Beauty Super Serum Skin Tint with SPF 40. Even though this has SPF in it, still use a sunscreen. It's very important that you use a sunscreen by itself as well. This has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it. This one, I always suggest to people who have drier skin because this one is kind of oily. I do like it if you can set it down with a powder, but if you don't wanna do that step, 
this. This is really, really great in the sense that it's very, very comfortable on the skin. And this is actually probably the most natural looking of the three skin tints that I'm gonna share. But this one, definitely guys, you need to set this one down if you have oily skin. It is extremely liquidy, but what's really incredible about this one is that it actually does give you some really nice coverage. So even though it comes out very like watery, you actually do even out your skin tone, which is really, really nice. So I love the amount of coverage that this one gives you. I love the hydration that it gives you. If you have drier skin, like I said, this is so incredible. I think everybody's skin is just different. So what I am recommending might not work for you or you might see this and go, oh my gosh, this is actually exactly what I want. This is not hydrating enough. So just take everything with a grain of salt and know that our skin is going to be different, but these are just products that have worked for me. And depending on if my skin's on the drier side or on the more like hydrated side, I will switch up products. Like I said, it's kind of like clothing. You dress for the day, you apply makeup, for the day. This one is relatively new. This is the Tarte C Hydroflux Serum Foundation. This one is actually pretty similar to the Ilia Beauty as far as consistency. It's very liquidy, but this one is not as oily as the Ilia Beauty one. So as you guys can see, it definitely is more of a liquid. This one has really great coverage too. You can kind of see it actually does provide nice coverage and evens out skin tone. I like this one though because again, it's not as oily as the Ilia Beauty one, but if you want the hydration, everyone is different. You know what I'm saying? So this one's really, really nice, decent amount of coverage. And then this is just kind of an honorable mention. This is technically not a skin tint. This is just a very lightweight foundation, but this is Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation and I tried this out this year and I just really, really loved the amount of coverage. It's one step above a skin tint. I just pumped so much on my hand, but it gives you slightly more coverage, but it has that same skin tint feel to it on the skin. It's super hydrating, not cakey at all, but it's just one step above as far as coverage goes. So if you need a little bit more coverage than a skin tint and you wanna go more into the lightweight foundation realm, this is incredible. It has like a little bit of glow. It's not matte and it's just very, very comfortable on the skin. So that is my recommendation for a lightweight foundation if you don't wanna move into the skin tints. Okay, next up, we have got cream blushes and I'm gonna share quite a few because cream blushes are just that good. If you've never tried a cream blush before, spring is the time for you to do that because I used to be so into powder products. I was like, I have slightly oily skin. I have combination skin. I was like, cream products just aren't gonna work for me. I need to matte everything down. And I think there's a time and place for that, but spring and summer is the time to just really let your skin breathe and to really look more fresh faced, I guess. And not that you can't look fresh faced with a full face of makeup on all powder products, but I really do think that cream products make your skin look so much more natural. And so I have recently gotten into cream blushes and I love them. I've got one on right now. So I'll start with the one that I'm wearing. Right now I've got on the Merit Beauty Cream Blush in Beverly Hills. I actually grabbed two of the Merit blushes because I love these so much. So this is the shade Beverly Hills. It is more neutral, so it's not super, super bright. I think it looks so nice on olive skin. And this one is just so pretty. And these Merit blushes just blend out beautifully. I actually kind of always blend out my cream products with a brush. So I will actually like apply it with a brush, but you can definitely use your hands to warm up the product. I love Merit. If you've never tried Merit before and you're looking to splurge, it's really high up there for me. I love it so much. I grabbed another shade. This is the shade Terracotta. This one is more of like a bronzy shade. So if you don't love blush, if blush is just not your thing, you're like, eh, it makes me look too preppy or something, I, I don't know. This is a really great blush shade because it's more of like a sun-kissed bronzed look. So this is the shade Terracotta. It has more of like an orangey undertone. And again, blend it out. It just looks like you got some really, really nice sun. So those are my two 
two favorite shades from Merit. Another blush that I really love, so I've got cream blushes, but I've, I've also got liquid blushes because I think those are also incredible. You guys have heard me talk about the cloud paint in the shade Beam a hundred billion times if you've been around on my channel. This is my favorite, favorite shade around this time of the year. It's almost like a little bit corally, but it's just really, really pretty. And like, if you apply it onto your skin and you use your finger or a brush to blend it out, it just gives you such a nice wash of color. These blend out really, really nicely. So I love these as far as like liquid blush goes. Another liquid blush that I really, really love is the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Bliss. Ooh, it's a lot of bees. This is a really beautiful, beautiful shade. I love these blushes because they go on as a liquid and they almost dry down as a powder. So they're not greasy in any way. I've always described these formulas as just so unique because there's really, it's hard to describe, but it really does turn to a powder as you blend it out. So right now the sun kind of went behind the cloud, but you can kind of tell right here, they're definitely buildable too. I love that it doesn't have a shine to it. Some cream blushes can be a little bit oily or a little bit like moisture balmy feeling. This gives you the blendability of a liquid blush, but it dries down like powder. It's so interesting. And I think that one just wears on the skin really comfortably. Ooh, my hand. Okay, next up is the Tarte C Cream Palette in Breezy. So this is a cream blush and cream bronzer palette. If you want to get into both, I used this during my trip to 30A and I just really liked it because it gave me two cream blush shades and a cream bronzer all in one palette. So this one is a really great option if you want to try out a bronzer as well. The bronzer is really, really pretty. Next cream blush is from Milk. This is the shade Work. This is a lip and cheek stick. I really love the shade of this blush. Again, it's a balm, so you can really blend it out, and it's just really, really pretty. Last cream blush. This is also from Tarte. This is the Breezy Cream Blush in Pink Sky, and this one is a really beautiful shade if you have a similar skin tone to me. I really, really like this shade. You can see it almost comes off like a little bit dusty and it's just really nice on the skin. So these are kind of my top products. This one also is not super oily. You can see it kind of goes down matte, which is really nice. So I really like the Tarte cream blushes as well. Next up on the list are cream eyeshadows. Typically, I don't even really mess with cream eyeshadows in the winter. I like to do my blending. I like all of the different palettes out there, but in the summer and in the spring, I really like cream eyeshadows because typically they will be waterproof and they will actually stay kind of all day if you're sweating. So I've got a few different brands here that I really, really like. First up is Laura Mercier. You guys have heard me talk about these before. These are the caviar sticks and these are waterproof and they're amazing. They literally stay all day. I really like this shade. This is called Intense Moonlight and I'm just gonna swatch everything. You barely swatch it and it's just like the color payout is insane. So that is Intense Moonlight. Next shade is called Rose Gold. And this one isn't as shimmery, but it's more of like a metallic than a shimmer. So really, really pretty colors. And what's nice about these is that you can blend them out with your finger and just apply them to the eye. What I've got on my eyes right now is the Quick Stick from Tarte. This is a dual eye pencil. So you've got your shadow here, and then on the other side, you have an eyeliner. So both are waterproof, I believe, but I've got this shade on. This is the shade Mauve Luster, and I just swiped this on my lid, and then I just blended it out with my finger, and it's just a really, really pretty, simple eye look, which is kind of what I go for in the spring and summer, because I'm like, it's gonna be sweat off anyway, so I like to keep it really simple. 
The other shade that I just really, really love and would highly recommend is the shade Rose Gold Luster. This one is kind of similar to that Laura Mercier shade. I think the other one was called Rose Gold, but this one is a little bit more pink, but again, still very shimmery, very, very pretty. And again, just super easy to blend out with your finger and it just makes everything very easy. Last shade, this one is just slightly darker. This is the shade taupe luster and oh, it's just so so pretty you can blend and really really good color payout so all the liners are dark brown and then the next one is the glossier lid star there are so many shades of the glossier lid star that i'm not a huge fan of but they released two new shades last year or the year before that i think it was maybe last year this is by far my favorite shade of the lid star this is the shade bun and this one's a really pretty kind of gold i mean look at that that's so pretty and you can blend it out you have to work kind of quickly with these ones because they do dry down almost like a powder but if you're just doing a one color all over lid look just swipe it on blend it out with your finger and it it stays kind of all day it's really really great last one up is a pod this is from the brand jones road and this is kind of like a metallic like eyeshadow pot this one is really really pretty because it's super shimmery and if you're doing kind of an all over eye look it's just a really great color to swipe on your eye this is the shade bronze and i really really love these they are so pigmented and just stunning so these are the eye colors that i love and i use all the time around spring and summer because they're just easy to swipe on single shade look add some mascara and you're good to go then the these ones are definitely not coming off as easily as the blushes, but that's a good thing. Like I said, you want it to kind of last all day. Okay, last category are lips. I think lip glosses, any type of sheer lipstick around spring and summer is a must have. I love like a opaque, bold lip kind of around the fall and winter when I do a full face of makeup. But in the spring and summer, I just want like a little tint of color. So I've got a few brands here that I just really, really love. So first up, you guys have heard me talk about these before. These are the Tarte Juicy Lips. I've got three shades here, two of which are the new ones, the plumping ones. I've actually got the shade Peachy Beige on right now. This is a plumping shade and it's a really pretty nude, but I'll swatch it on my hand so you can see as well. But this is the shade Peachy Beige really really gorgeous these ones add just like a little bit of fullness to your lip next shade is primrose it's more of a pink shade and then this is one of the originals this is not a plumping one this is the shade coconut and i really love this shade you can tell i definitely have a type it is kind of like a pinky corally orange lip color but those are the three shades that i really love lip glosses i just got these in from laura mercier but i love these this is a new packaging of a lip gloss that has previously existed but the reason i'm sharing these is because i love the applicator i feel like an applicator makes a huge difference and they repackage these with a new applicator and i already loved the formula and now i'm like obsessed with these again so these are the lip glosses this is the shade caramel again i definitely have a type it's like a short stubby applicator but it makes getting the gloss on with precision very easily so this is the shade caramel and then this one i really like too this is the shade baby doll and this one's more of like a pinky coral with some shimmer in it which i just thought was really pretty this one's a little bit more sheer than caramel but i just think this is such a pretty wash of color and then the last one is from a different brand this is called minori i think that's how you pronounce it it's a smaller company they only have a few products out but what i've tried i really liked so i got their lip gloss and then i got a cream blush and a cream highlight from them and i've liked everything that i've tried but i really love this lip gloss because of the applicator i feel like the applicator is huge for me again it's kind of like the laura mercier one it's a little bit more short and stubby and it just makes putting on the gloss so pleasurable so this is the lip gloss and this is the shade cozy so those are all of my favorite lip products 
and shades and I think a lip gloss or some kind of like sheer lip product in the spring and summer is a must-have but those are my five spring must-have categories for products I hope you guys enjoy this video and if there's anything that is new here that you have not seen or you want to try out I'll have it down below in the description box be sure to leave me a comment let me know what your five product must-haves are around this time of the year. I would love to know if it's an illuminator or if it's a cream highlight or it's a certain mascara. I'm so open to trying new products and I'd love to hear what you guys are into. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you wanna stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys.